Hi there, this is Marty Owings from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. Thanks for stopping by today as we take a look at several different types of Ticonderoga pencil. Ticonderoga pencil is made uh, by Prang or owned by the Prang company. Prang also owns a number of other pencil companies including the venerable Dixon Pencil Company and Lyra. Dixon and, and Ticonderoga have been uh, traditionally they were American pencils made in America and they've been around for years and years but now Prang owns them and they're made in China and Mexico. So I'll be sure and mention which ones are made where but let's start out uh, I should mention that I'll, I'll sharpen these. One of these pencils um, uh, or I should say two of these pencils come uh, unsharpened. The, uh, the Tri uh, Comfort pencil and then the black Ticonderoga, and we'll, I'll have to sharpen those up. But I'll try to test the sharpener on each of these pencils just to see how well they sharpen up. And they do pretty good. Um, I didn't have any breakage or any problem at all using this Alvin, uh, which is a German pencil sharpener. So I'll start out with this Tri-Comfort pencil uh, by Ticonderoga, and it's called a Triconderoga. So a little confusing on the name, but it's a Tri-Pencil. It's uh, designed to be more comfortable in your hand. It's a little bit bigger, uh, but it's in this tri shape so that your your forefinger or your index finger, your forefinger, index finger, and thumb rest against it very nicely. Um, then I tried just a standard number two tri or Ticonderoga, and uh, they erase really well. They uh, draw nicely, and um, I'm gonna try a little lead breakage test here. I'm gonna press really, really hard and the lead is just not breaking on this pencil, uh, which is unbelievable. I mean, I, I put a lot of pressure on the pencil, and uh, the lead would not break. So um, that's a win. And the wood is very nice with these pencils. Next, I'll try these multicolored pencils. Essentially, all these pencils are the same lead weight. They're an HB number two. So... Um, so there's that, but so there's no difference in you know softness or hardness really, and they're they all they're all really nice. They perform just slightly differently as you can see, but they're all really nice uh, pencils so far. The last one I'll try is the black Ticonderoga, um, which uh, has the label "the world's best pencil" on it. I don't know about that, but they're they're darn good pencils. I can say that about them. So the multicolored pencils, the ones that I showed you there, those ones are made in Mexico. Um, the black ones are made in Mexico as well. Um, and so are the tri-comforts. They're made in Mexico as well. The number two uh, standard yellow pencils, uh, the one that's just off to the right there, those pencils are made in China. So there you go. You know, people sometimes send me notes and ask me, like, okay, what pencil should I use if I want to create a really great work of art? And I say, you know, that's a tough question because in the hands of the right person, a simple, humble, number two pencil can create incredible art. And the best pencil in the world in the hands of someone who's unpracticed or amateur or just hasn't spent enough time practicing the craft um, won't do them much good at all. So it just depends on where you're at, but I oftentimes pick up the humble number two and, and put it to work for myself, and I, I like just going back to that. It reminds me of being a kid and just picking up the, the pencil you found at school and drawing pictures. So this is a look at the Ticonderoga, uh, different types of Ticonderoga pencils. Thanks for stopping by today. Don't forget to leave a comment or a question if you have one. I love to interact with people interested in art and artwork. And if you get a chance, uh, subscribe to the channel. All right, I appreciate it. For OwingsArt.com, this is Marty. So long, everybody.